Hey you folks. Uh, I didn't check on the time. I think it's 10 o'clock local time. It's really time consuming. These 12 bolts for the spreader, for this adapter. You do that with um, Allen wrenches. I just uh, tightened it up and secured that to that seven millimeter extension tool making sure that thing that this thing if you drop it here in the grass I put some uh, tape around the red tape in case it, it falls on the grass I will find it again if not it doesn't matter if this is a black color colored Allen wrench or um, a stainless steel silver one you drop it in this high grass it's gone I mean if you lose it after you after you release the bolts, when you take your antenna down to get home, then it doesn't matter. You know, you can take your fiberglass segments and, you know, loading them up on the trailer and get back home. But if you lose it before... <laughs> I've been through that already, about a year and a half ago. Shh! Hey, this is just between you and me. I had to, I had to leave the mast here, riding back home, three point some-ish miles and get me um, my little tool baggie at home with the, with all the Allen wrench <laughs> slices in it. <laughs> I came back to get my antenna home. Yeah. So this is what we're doing today. 40 happily feet of spider beam telescopic fiberglass mast with a spreader kit. Hmm, let me see what antenna. Hey. I'll let you know about the antenna later on, okay? It will be a quad, one element quad, but I don't talk about which one right now. It's beautiful, nice, warm in the sun. The only bad thing about it is there is no toilet out here and the breakfast, my morning breakfast, is getting waterfall. So, oh, there's the construction workers. They have in the toilet. I'm going to ask them if I'm allowed to use the toilet. I give them like two or three bucks if they, you know, for a couple of beers. That's fine. Seven three. Wish me luck. Out of here. DK five O N V.